right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's who is he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 258 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Pantera. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with round one. Classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw time. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Oh, that's a nice strike. Look at the control and the posture as that big knee lands. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Defense. Straight right, he misses. Good punch lands. Oh, nice. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stay on him. 
slips the punch nicely there. Rips the body there for good measure. He blocks the punch. Straight right hand now just misses. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lands with the right hand. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him start to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Not there. And that one certainly found the target. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Slips the shot. Blocks the shot. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Big head kick! Oh, could be in trouble after that knee to the head. Just a slip there. Oh, connects with another uppercut. So that's been the weapon of choice, and he went back to it there and lands. Over and over again, he has thrown that punch, and it's because he feels comfortable there. He does not feel like his opponent can return anything because he's popping his head up every time he lands that nice uppercut. Both fighters throwing heat now. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big kick lands. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. He's able to slip the left. All right, so he's landed a few big uppercuts already in DC. I know you're in the prediction business. You think he's going to set it up again? I am certain he's going to try and set that up again. Expect it to come off of a left hook because off the left hook, don't anticipate the next punch coming right up the middle. He's real good at trying to find that shot. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Nice kick. Loaded up on that one and landed. 15 seconds to go. shot lands upstairs. Come on, let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. Take a breath and relax. This round, you really want to use your striker. You're a better boxer than you. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how he's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And just misses with that big right hand. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. 
jab, right hand hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Well, missed on that one. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, huge block. And they separate. He loaded up the right hand too. A little cut below that left eye. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good spit. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Now connects with a right. Big knee lands to the body. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Nice punch there. Huge knee lands from the coach. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. Big and kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Punches blocked. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length, of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Single collar tie now. And then he lands a nice elbow. Head kick lands, he's hurt. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It'll probably feel something like that. It has to. This guy has landed a oh. kick with so much force. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight if he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Not a bad round, but you're forcing those leg kicks too much. Let's not do that. We have to let it come naturally, just like we've trained. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch right. stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. This man has taken it to the octagon, looking 
to break all the punch records before the night is over. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice straight punch. Slips. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Obvious redness on the right oh, side of his body. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He's digging his entire weight into those punches to the body. Just misses with that one. Chop clip with the right hand. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. He blocks the shot. Got this the collar tie. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big kick. How about that shin? Oh, lands the overhand up top. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to be hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Man, what a fight. All right, single collar tie now. And they separate. Oh, big left hook there. Big body kick. Oh, big left hand there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Leads with the right punch. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching oh, it over and over. Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Trying to establish that jab once again. He's able to slip the left there. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Nice head kick. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Just missed with the left there. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. Oh, nice jab. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Nice. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds.
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Alright, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good now. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Oh, oh, yeah. Nice oh, over the top. Holy smokes! He put up the sweeps! Alright, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh man, I feel for a wrestler. This is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fighter. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh man, that cut not in a good place, and it's not getting any better. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in the jiu-jitsu guy's guard. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. The guys who start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. Strong defense there to block the shot. Big punch lands through the middle. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. Oh! He's a troll. He's hurt bad. So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. Oh, blocks the shot. Whoa! Oh, big left. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Tie. Oh! He's out! Unbelievable! You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 31 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by... And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.